And now on the line is Pierre Klein from ATD Ireland. Pierre, welcome to the program. Uh, good evening, uh, Darren. I'm very happy to speak to you. Okay, that's great. Uh, I've interviewed you and some other members of ATD on this program a few times now, so you don't have to explain who ATD are. I saw some tweets last week talking about a conference on the SDGs, and also on the same day there was talk about a launch of the Leave No One Behind conversations. Can you tell me, uh, tell us exactly what happened last week and uh, about what the Leave No One Behind uh, conversations are? Yeah, thank you, Darren, for the question. Yes, uh, indeed, last week was a, a, a sustain, upon Sustainable Island was a conference organized by uh, some partners, including uh, World Vision and the, the Irish Envir Environmental Network. And, and we were very lucky because uh, a former ambassador to the UN, Irish ambassador David Dunne, who accepted to patron and to launch a project uh, which we call, as you uh, already uh, pointed out, uh, 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 the Leave No One Behind conversation. So all is connected to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, uh, which has been agreed now in September 2015 by uh, 193 countries, including Ireland. And in this uh, agenda, maybe a lot of the people who listen to you know it, uh, there are 17 uh, sustainable development goals, 17 goals to achieve by uh, 2030, um, uh, which uh, um, cover economic, social, and environmental challenges for the future of the planet and uh, also humanity. And uh, but what is interesting is on the top of these 17 goals, uh, the agenda and all the states agreed on, on this language. Uh, there is a promise, and this promise is to leave no one behind, uh, or uh, said in other words, and that's what's written in the agreement, uh, to reach the furthest behind first. So this is a really something important because it, it, it sets the challenge high and it creates a, a kind of moral obligation to the state to try to do the best it can to reach the goals, but also to be very inclusive in terms of who will be supported, who, what transformation will be made, how life for people will change. So mm -hmm. we, we as a, an organization, ATD, are very uh, committed to trying uh, to make sure that uh, everybody is included and when we say everybody it's also the the people who who might be very marginalized or might have a, a, in general society a very bad name or looked at uh, in a very stigmatic uh, stigmatized way so uh, we we what what is important for us is that this leave the one behind is not just a kind of a nice uh, language put on the top of the agenda, but it really is also transformative. The promise is transformative. So we want to to discuss with people uh, uh, about what it means to leave the one behind. Mm. Uh, how do they react to this promise? Do they understand it? And also uh, a little bit, um, do they see any uh, uh, steps we could take to, uh, uh, in a certain way, uh, meet the challenge to, mm. to leave no one behind. We say walk the talk. So we are a group of volunteers here and Claire who is with me also is involved in the project and we prepare now uh, the conversation. Okay. Uh, you put me on to Claire, okay, yeah? Sorry? Are uh, you putting me on to Claire? It would it, could it be possible, yes? Yeah, 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 go ahead, yeah. Hello. Hi Claire, how's it going? This is Darren here from the RFM. Uh, could you just introduce yourself to our listeners first, please? Yeah, so um, my name is Claire and I work here. I'm a volunteer with ATD Ireland. Um, we work mainly in Dublin's north inner city and we're an anti-poverty group. So, yeah, okay. I'm the project manager for Leave No One Behind. Okay, yourselves, ATD, and uh, Concern are organising it, aren't you? I, 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 I think it's a great idea. You will be doing a lot of uh, outreach work with the project, won't you? Yeah, so the idea is to, is well, this project is to help 
have workshops in different communities. So um, in Dublin and outside of Dublin as well. So the idea is to do 10 different, mm-hmm. well, at least 10 workshops. And um, as Pierre was saying, that we'd explored the idea of leaving no one behind and who gets left behind and how to tackle it. And uh, what type of um, places will you be visiting? What types of places? So yeah. at the moment, we've got groups in in different parts outside the city. So in Maynooth, there's talk of doing one with university students out there. Um, there's family groups in Longford and in Clara as well. Mm. So um, that's what we're working with at the moment. And there'll also be inner city groups in Dublin that we'd like to reach out to. So a mix of a mix of different people. Mm. And uh, <laughs> how long is the project going to last? So these conversations are going to be held from well, from the very near future until August, August 2018. So any groups that are interested are invited to go on to leavenoonebehind.ie and they can contact us from there. Okay, do you want us to pull back to Pierre, do you? Yeah, no problem. All right, right, thanks, Claire. Thanks very much. Okay, uh, today is Tuesday, uh, uh, Pierre, and our interview will be broadcast on Near FM on Sunday. There, there is a major event happening with the SDGs on Thursday this week, isn't there? Yes, yes. This Thursday, um, many people who are involved in the implementation already of the 2030 Agenda would would be really excited and 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 uh, would have been there. But we 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 are expecting, and what's going to happen or is. Uh, uh, so yes, anyway, uh, Thursday, um, the 26th of April is an important date uh, for uh, uh, all the people who are worried about the implementation of the 2030 Agenda. Um, after a series of consultation, the Minister, Donis Nutton, Minister for Communication and, and, and Environmental Issues, is going to launch uh, the Irish Plan uh, uh, for the implementation by Ireland of mm. uh, uh, the 2030 Agenda. So, of course, all the NGOs from the environmental sector, from uh, uh, the domestic anti-poverty sector, community sector, also all the NGOs involved in international development mm. uh, and trade unions uh, and people doing a lot of uh, uh, development education in schools or with young people. All all these people are now uh, um, uh, with this uh, expectation that uh, uh, the plan will be ambitious and robust and will really uh, uh, enable us to create change. And, and this is a big issue of, of the 2030 agenda. Mm-hmm. The, the name of it is, is a transformative agenda. So the idea is is really are we going to make the the needed change so that uh, all the big uh, kind of fear we have today about the future regarding pollution, regarding uh, climate change, regarding uh, life on Earth, reducing because species are disappearing, uh, but also for people, uh, do they will continue to live with high inequalities in the world, in our societies? Will poverty be really reduced? Uh, Will people have access to health system or to education in a proper way? All this kind, and housing in Ireland, of course, uh, you know, because goal 11 is about sustainable cities and sustainable communities, and one target is about uh, offering to the whole whole population decent housing. So all these major things which are really part of our everyday life also, uh, uh, will there be a kind of uh, comprehensive uh, whole government ambition to make big changes? Mm. And all this is is going, is is the challenge of, of this Thursday. Yeah, the event on Thursday is huge news for anyone in Ireland interested in the sustainable development goals, isn't it? Um, well, for me, for me, I mean, uh, you you know me, Darren. Uh, mm. the, the the for me, this plan, the the 2030 agenda, is, is the 
is not the only show in town, but for me, it's really overarching plan mm. to improve uh, the future of people and the planet. And mm. and uh, this week, all week long, we we are saying that that it's a historic opportunity uh, mm. for. Uh, uh, government, but also for society, to say, look, we we are really committed to make a change and to to create an opportunity for our children to live in a better place than we are. And, mm. and this is not, I mean, and it's not for granted. It's it's really we are really facing big challenges. Yeah, I uh, w- won't be around on Thursday to cover it, but I hope to cover it next week or the week after. There is also an event on, I think it's this Friday, about uh, alcohol policy in Ireland and the SDGs. Did you hear about that, did you? Oh no, I'm 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 very interested because yeah. I, I know yeah. there are there are there are many groups around the world mm. who are really uh, strong in campaigning and saying uh, that. Uh, the, the alcohol industry and mm. all the business around alcohol, in fact, is har- arming mm. the the plan of the SDGs. So it's a uh, it's an issue. It's an yeah. Issue. Um, it's organised by the Alcohol Forum. Uh, like I, I hope to cover the Alcohol Forum event and the uh, Thursday event maybe next week or the week after. But uh, I'll talk to you about it again soon. Anyway, okay, Pierre, um, just to come to the end of our interview, is there anything else you would like to get across to our listeners on Near FM about the Leave No One Behind conversations and the SDGs in general? Yeah, well, thank you, Darren, again, for giving us this opportunity to speak about this project. And as Claire said, uh, there will be workshops. Uh, If groups are interested to discuss with us about the issue, they can contact us via via the website, leaveoneBehind.ie. But what I would like just to add about it is if if you at home, you're listening about it and you have some ideas about uh, uh, what it means to leave no one behind or how could we improve our practices to leave no one behind, uh, the website is also there to collect individual uh, uh, inputs and, and uh, thoughts about it. And all this will be collected and we will, we, our plan is to publish a first handbook, uh, uh, even one behind Walking the Talk, uh, by uh, October uh, 2018, so very soon. So please, if, if you at home, you're listening to us and you think, Oh, uh, uh, on this issue, would it be school? Would it be my community? Would it be work? Uh, whatever uh, context, or elderly people, or disabled people, if you really think there is something we should do to leave no one behind, please uh, uh, write it down, send it uh, to us via the website leave no one behind.ie, and we will uh, take care of all the, uh, the submissions and ideas. Uh, and we will try to, to keep them alive in the handbook, which is going to be published in October. 